Oh, I'm trying. Oh, come on. I think there might be a little bit of breeze forecast tomorrow, so uh, if we don't get off today, we'll go tomorrow. Oh, you're cleaning up tomorrow. I will fly. Doctor's Use Island there is called Portavo. Very, very sweet. That little Lots of coconuts on it. Blip. Oh yeah, apparently it's got coconuts. I mean, this is. What's going on? <laughs> you must catch me out when I'm doing stuff. Um, just desiccating some coconut. As you do. Right. What is it, Monday afternoon? Went and picked some cocards, took them over to the island here and opened them up, had a drink. And um, oh, these are beautiful, they're so meaty and oily, like oh, it's the best coconut oil. So, yeah, just make us just a good coconut for Wendy's fish curries. There you go, enough desiccated coconut for about 20 curries. That's all out of one coconut. Except you get a few bits of brown bit, but absolutely beautiful. And it's so rich and oily. It's beautiful. And this has got a fish. It's being very quiet. What'd you catch? Uh, just bait. It's a good start. This morning we're going on a walk to the top of that hill up there in the clouds and the uh, first sign you see is watch out for aeroplanes. There we go. That's where we're anchored. Been here a few days. It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, the runway's all clear. No aeroplanes coming. We're safe. Beautiful spot here. A few boats arrived yesterday. The two of us were most yesterday and then another few arrived and a few left and left this morning. You can see one out there on the horizon that's left this morning. There's no wind, so we're hanging around because we haven't got any engine. And there's a 180. The old resort is behind these trees here. So the resort closed after Yazi ripped through it in 2011 and it hasn't come back to life. This property has been done up. We think this is probably the caretaker's house. What have you got there, babe? One of your favourite shells? Yeah, isn't it beautiful? Yeah. Look at the wasps just landed on your hand. Yeah, a very large one. Look. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Look at that. Shelf fungus. <laughs> How's it going, Wen? Good. It's pretty steep, isn't it? Yeah. It's beautiful. It's a long way down. Very steep. Absolutely beautiful. Birds everywhere, little lizards. Sensational. Little switchback. 
getting steeper. Yeah, it is getting steeper. They, they're oh. putting switchbacks in now. Yeah. Awesome motorbike track. You'd ride down here, uh, down to the next section of track. Well, I could take my uh, mountain bike down here, no problem, downhill. Yeah, you'd be down here easy. Yeah. And just a heads up, thing you got to watch out for here, uh, leeches. Oh. If you brush against a leaf or something, a leech can jump on. As per usual, I got my best hiking boots on. You can't really see it, but this is way to wild vine. It's got some really, really sharp hooks on it. They grab you as you're walking along. You can use these hooks for fishing if you're a survivor on a desert island. We're nearly at the top. Back when men were men and sheep were scared, they carried a radar installation up here. A bit of flat up there, I reckon that's where it would have been, or maybe here. Like this is cast iron stuff. Um, and it was for the war because the Japanese were coming down. They were coming down through the Southwest Pacific. And of course, this is the f first place they'd get to after the Cape. So they had radar installations all the way down the coast here. And they built the airstrip here in um, 1941. Um, and then soon after that, when that, air, that airstrip appeared on Japanese maps in 1943, beginning in 1943, so I thought, wow, they know we're here. Let's put in a radar installation. So the men lived down, camped down in Bramo Bay where we are, and uh, two shifts a day, and they'd walk all the way up here, um, carrying diesel to run the two generators and bits and pieces, and then the headquarters up here where they could you know, spend their time during their shift. But they were men, like, these days you just helicopter in a portable, no, it's all done from satellite, so you don't need any, anything. But amazing, and but the view they had. So there's a good trade-off, I suppose. Now look at this. Check this out. Come here. So if you can see my finger, that's I oh know you'd have to be looking that way. That's where we stayed. Hang on, I'll point. Uh, that island there is where we stayed the other night, and then we went around this island. And we came up here, we came up here, came up here, and you can see the runway down here. Right, oh, there's the runway. And we're just around the corner here. That's the mainland over there. Cardwell is down here. So we're going to walk around to the end here now and just have a look around the corner. Oh, there's the jetty there, and that's where the shower hot showers, that's the sand spit. We're anchored around about here. And the old resort is down about here. Anyway, here's some um, bit of information about the place. Um, it was the number 27 radar station, the Royal Australian Air Force. Um, and it was formed on the 3rd of October 1942 in Townsville. And then they deployed to Dunk Island on the 7th of November 43. Uh, they abandoned the station here on the 7th of September, 43. Uh, 42 they came here, 43, so they're only here a year. Um, there were two pilot officers, one, two, three, four, five flight lieutenants um, were the com officers in command in those years. So they had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven changes of command. Which is, yeah, I don't know why they do that all the time. But anyway, um, so there you go. That's a bit of the history here. Yeah. Well, we've been at Dunk Island for quite a few days now. And Magnus jumped out of bed this morning and said, there's a bit of breeze, so let's try and go. So he's going to try and put the spinnaker up. There's not much breeze, but uh, there might be enough to get us to the next place, which is about 12 miles away. We're trying to hop our way to uh, Cairns. Let's see how he gets on. Well, she's going up. I've forgotten how beautiful she was. 
Oh, I'm trying. Oh, come on. What's the destination today? About 12 miles. Yeah. So we've got to do hop our way to Cairns. I think there might be a little bit of breeze forecast tomorrow, so uh, if we don't get off today, we'll go tomorrow. Oh, you'll clean up tomorrow. Okay. I will fly. Dunk, you're certainly a beautiful little place to stay. Well, she's up. Yeah, she's flying. How'd that go, babe? Tricky? Good. Yeah, tricky because there's not enough wind to get her around the forestay. That's up now. She's up and we're not going to hit the island, so we're good. We're on our way. We're heading to Stevens Island today. Well, that's the plan. <laughs> And yeah. we'll see how we go. We've got Peanut if we need her, and we've got the spinnaker. But the forecast for wind is under 10, so we don't usually move much around that number. <laughs> so we'll see how we go. See ya. We've got four knots of breeze, and we're going two knots. So yay, result. to do a little walk to the lighthouse. It's only about half a kilometre. We're going to check it out. So we think this is the beginning of the walk here and I'm guessing it takes us up to the top. Somewhere up there. Let's go. Well, we're right, we found the beginning of this track. It's 
lots of coral. This way. It's nice and cool in here. So this morning was interesting. We set off with the spinnaker and that worked pretty well. And then it, the wind disappeared. So we had to use peanut, but we're here now. We're at Kent Island, we're having a little look around. We're just slowly trying to make our way to Kent so we can fix the engine. See ya. We found the track. We're just going to keep following these orange ribbons. <laughs> it's a bit of a wild track. Crazy track. That's the track through here, so we'll just keep going. Yeah. I'm glad I wore me good walking boots again. Yeah, so just goes, just, just ribbons that we've got to follow. I oh, found another ribbon. And then it goes vertical, oh look, straight up. So what have you decided? <sighs> it's steep. I haven't got me good climbing boots on. Oh, jeez. And, um, yeah, it's steep, man. Oi. So, um, Oi. I'm going to pull the pin on this one. If I my climbing boots on, I'd go up. And uh, we've got lots of friends here too, haven't we? Mozzies, yeah, there's millions of mosquitoes. Yeah. Anyway, Look at it, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's just like steep. vertical up there. It is tans and knees stuff. And it's just, it's not a real trail. Someone's just obviously made Oh, a trail, which yeah. is great, but Good trail. you've got to have the right gear to do this. Just got to not be wearing thongs. Yeah. So we're going to go back to the boat. Have a beer. Or have a look around and have, yeah, have a beer. See ya. We're going to go and have a look around the island instead. Yeah. With peanut. Look over there. You're beautiful. You're so beautiful. Yeah. That's where the wolf was. We thought it was somewhere else, but it wasn't. So, uh, where are we going? We're going to check out these islands too. This little island is just a vertical beach of coral 